Okay, uh, today we're going to test the alarm system on this grinder pump. Testing the alarm system is very important because the alarm is the thing that is going to keep your system from backing up. Now the way to test the alarm is you get the control panel, which we have here, the C1 control panel. You open up the control panel. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. This has a separate circuit breaker for the pump and for the alarm. So we're going to turn off the circuit breaker for the pump. So then the pump's not going to run, but the alarm is still powered. Then we're going to put water into the system. Okay, Marine, go ahead. Let the bathtub down. In the bathtub, I filled in about 25 gallons of water. And 25 gallons of water is going to be enough water to make this pump go past the alarm stage. Uh, anywhere between 15 and 25 is the amount that will make the alarm go off. And I just made it 25 because I wanted to make sure the alarm was going to go off. Now, 25 should be a safe number, so even with the pump not running, it shouldn't get so high so as to back up into my basement. So you have to be careful with the amount of water. 25 gallons is okay. I measured it out in a bucket. Now it's going to take probably a few minutes for all that water to get down into the pump. Now one thing I did this morning was, you can kind of see I dug, uh, I kind of uh, adjusted the grade around this cover. And the reason is because right here in this spot, yeah, I can hear the water going into it now. Underneath this spot, there are two vent holes. One of them is the vent for the pump cavity. The other one is the vent for the access way. If there is a backup, the vent for the pump cavity will overflow. You want that water to flow away from your pump unit. You don't want that water to build up a level. If it builds up a too high a level, that water could then start going back into the access way vent. So you should mow around it and you have to make sure that it doesn't get buried. The worst thing you could do is uh, bury the pump cover. Uh, it needs to be open and you should have a, a path where water can flow away from the cover. Okay. Now let's go back to the uh, control panel. The alarm should be going off as soon as it hits the alarm level. Uh, yeah, this light will probably go off too. And um, you just have to wait a few minutes here. This level. There's my basement right over there. I have, you know, oh, okay, there's the alarm. That means I can go and turn the pump on. That means my alarm is working. Yeah, I guess the light's on too. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn the pump back on, and now the pump is running. You can see that light. Now, I'm gonna silence the alarm because there's a silence button here. Okay, the alarm's off. Okay, so that was a successful test. Now, I, I can't tell you how frequently this test should be done, but um, you might want to do this once a year. See, even though I silence the alarm, the water level is still too high. The uh, light is still on. After the, um, the pump is on long enough, it should pump down below the alarm level. And then um, the light should go off. The pump might take a minute to pump all the water out. And there's still water coming in, too, from the tub. So, oh, the tub is empty now. Okay, but, but the, um, the water has to drop below the alarm level before the uh, light would go off, let's say. I could have kept the um, alarm on just as another sign 
Okay, the light just went off. So everything seems to be working okay. So anyway, that, that's a test. You could do this anytime you want, but you got to fill basically you got to put 25 gallons or so into the system to do that. Once a year would be great, probably, but you could do it more frequently. The problem is with the alarm is your backup. If the alarm breaks, you, you don't have any way of knowing when it breaks. And the pressure switch can go bad, and then you have no protection. So this is important. Okay, bye.